Um, the reason I decided to get involved in this beekeeping project is because my mother studied entomology and she still studies entomology now to this day. So I've always had a fascination about insects. I actually used to have glass insects and I had one glass uh, hornet and that reminded me of bees. So I decided I should join beekeeping. Beekeeping is something that's always interested me. I uh, love honey to begin with, but that's not why I've chosen to do this course. Um, I think in the climate that we're in just now and the crisis that we're facing, we have to protect our pollinators. And I really do think that educating our young people um, will allow us to be able to take note of our environment and looking at where our bees are usually found, what type of habitat that you find them in. We need to protect that habitat and I think starting off with our school children and filtering that right through um, their education um, is a great way for us as a society to try and protect our pollinators. Without our pollinators we have no food security and I think we really need to, to, to think on um, how we can protect our planet. Well, I think that bees are very important for the environment because uh, it's uh, good for everyone, really. And it's really important that we keep the honey because uh, so uh, it fights off um, like people who are like not well with like he viva, cold or the flu and stuff. So I think it's really important that uh, the flu is the honey is uh, really important for the environment is because but of all the people who are like sick and uh, fight that off but honey. I think it's important we have bees in the world because they help with the pollination and because of uh, many, many, many factors we're losing pollinators and it's really important we keep as many as we can and help keep new generations of bees coming so that we can keep on pollinating and keep this natural world. Well, we've actually, uh, I met a very interesting uh, person called Ray Baxter and uh, another lovely lady called Lorreen Johnson and these are two teachers um, down in the borders in Dumfries and Galloway and they've got a, a, a really um, strong uh, bee club running in each of their schools and from that uh, they sort of made it possible for us to kind of take the course on. Um, we've shared lots of materials um, and uh, experiences and then I went on to become a, uh, a beekeeper myself. So uh, from that point on, I was able to introduce the course um, and we've just kind of run with it. Uh, we've had fantastic support from a head teacher who was able to supply us with equipment and so on. Um, but where I'm standing right now, this is Rook and Glen Park and um, Mark Armstrong here at Young Enterprise Scotland, he made it possible at the first instance and um, allowed us to be able to use the hives here and, and use the site and that's been uh, a fantastic facility. So from going from working along with our, our uh, local community, um, we've been able to as a school um, use our local community and um, be able to grow the course um, into what it is today. I think that all teachers should have a passion about it because in the, the era that we're heading into with the issues with climate change, Stopping that's going to have to start with educating children. So all teachers should have should be passionate about it and really be conveying that passion then to the children they're teaching, so that the whole next generation shares that passion with them. Well, the National Progression Award itself um, is divided into three modules, and uh, the second module is predominantly practical based. Um, the first and the last one are um, a lot of theory uh, in, involved in those. So there are lots of different skills that obviously um, they pick up in the, the during this course. Um, they're obviously um, being able to go out into their local community. They're um, working with other people that are not associated with the school, um, helping the environment, um, being able to um, plant uh, bulbs and seeds, um, looking after the local allotment. Um, Working together, um, there's a lot of good social interaction between them um, and obviously um, with the environment they're learning more about how they can protect the environment and how they can um, support all the, um, uh, the animals in their local community as well. Um, well it's really good to learn about seeing as it's become such a big part of the environment and even just to be around um, a place like this, it's been great to get to know people from Young Enterprise Scotland and some of us have you know spent summers and stuff volunteering around here so it's good to be more active and stuff like that in local community.
The beekeepers, beekeepers have actually um, been heavily involved with a lot of um, cross-curricular activities in the school. Um, they're actually uh, working on an, a PowerPoint which they're um, going to present to local primary schools and they're going to talk about the importance of bees um, and relate that to the studies that they're doing with regards to COP26. So um, the beekeepers are um, going to be doing a lot of visits over the next few weeks and we also um, have uh, a group of our beekeepers that are involved in Caritas and they are in fact um, working with the local parishes and communities to try and um, increase the, um, the awareness of what types of plants are ideal plants for planting for pollinators. So, um, so that's what's happening just now with the beekeepers. Across the school there's lots of different learning for sustainability um, projects which are taking place and I think COP26 has really sort of uh, emphasised that just now um, and uh, the importance of, of uh, the fact that we have these um, goals that we have to achieve um, and therefore uh, we're working as a, a school on that. Uh, learning for sustainability is incredibly important um, for increasing that knowledge about the environment because of course we are in a bit of a climate crisis right now and the responsibility of improving it and making the world a better place is ultimately up to us, the younger generation moving up. So that will, that's going to start in schools. We need to gain the knowledge to fight this climate crisis and ultimately make our world a better place. Absolutely fantastic, it would be amazing. Because what we would do is we would open up so many different young people's eyes that we'd be able to say, look, what's around us? How can we make a difference? We need to protect this planet and therefore we would not be standing in the planet we're in right now and I think people would completely change the way they do things in their lifestyle and, and how they protect um, all the things around them so it would be an absolutely amazing planet to be in and hopefully we will get that and we'll be part of it in our generation.